find that in either on your Patreon or your community page. There will be a link for you to download this. So I'm going to do a mixed media and I have no idea um, exactly how many types of stuff of media I'm going to use. I'm going to kind of just see what feels right. Okay, I forgot to put my head set on again. And I gotta get chat out. So just hold on here. While I do that. There we go. All right. So hopefully you can hear me. Um, so we already did, um, I did this one on our uh, membership. There is a traceable for this one also. And we also did another one. Oh, we did this one. Uh, I think it's upstairs. And the traceable is also available for that one, if you're interested. And those are all on the memberships. And it's not an expensive membership and you can cancel any time. Uh, if you just want the traceables, it's $2.99 a month. $2.99 that is. Uh, consider it buying me a small coffee. <laughs> um, so I thought this was cute. I really like this one. I kind of want her hair all over the place, kind of like it would be in water. So she's kind of uh, saying hello to uh, passerby, scuba divers or whatever. <laughs> and I want to keep her fairly uh, simple, not too um, crazy as far as detail. So what I've done So I've already printed it out on a piece of scrapbook paper. And you can do this. Hey, Devin, good to see you. So this is, uh, it's, I don't know, it's a little thinner than cardstock, I guess. But I put it on my jet print printer. And I sprayed some fixative and I or a finish on it. And it's the Krylon Low Order o Odor Clear Finish. And it's a um, soap cleanup, soap and water cleanup. And you can spray this indoors also. It, do it doesn't have hardly any smell and it dries fairly quickly. Hey, Jen, good to see you. Hey, Lena, good to see you. So I'm thinking of kind of integrating her skin tone into the background and maybe even her hair. Not sure yet because I'm I'm just playing today, basically. Not sure what I want to do. Saw your video, um, Lena, that's Miss Lennox 2010. Uh, awesome book as normal. You're always got such amazing art and books so if you want to check out lena that's miss linux 2010 and devin also awesome jelly plater if you're interested in jelly plating and stencils that type of thing check out devin rex for art she also has a fantastic uh, youtube Oh, I loved it. I thought it was a great idea. Uh, keeping the old uh, photograph books, 
that everybody's been throwing out. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, it's a perfect thing to uh, house your uh, charcoal or anything that's um, even, uh, uh, I imagine pastels, like oil pastels would work too. Although it might stick to the plastic. Thanks, Lena. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that for sure. And my son works at the dump. <laughs> and he's always bringing me home. He bought me, brought me home a bunch of books again. Uh, I didn't film it, but some old coloring books from 1964. Um, but they're nature. It's not like a kid's coloring book. They're for older, which I didn't even know they did that back then. Um, but awesome, awesome books that he, he always brings me, you know, he brings me all kinds of stuff, stuff for the garden. <laughs> it's handy. Yeah. Uh, I think I brought them down. Did I not? Uh, could have swore I brought them down. Maybe not. I don't see them here. Oh, wait a minute. They might be there. No, them. I'll I'll bring them down on Tuesday and show them to you, and maybe I'll have more. He's there today, so. <laughs> and and he got awesome find four books. And speaking of uh, binders, four binders filled with hockey cards from nineteen ninety to 1998 so there's he already went through them there's uh six thousand dollars worth of hockey cards in there <laughs> so he's he's happy about that one he got a second monitor for his computer <laughs> like <laughs> it's amazing what people will throw out So, if there's any questions, um, oh, thanks, Lena. Yeah, I've been doing some gardening videos, too. I have another uh, channel, um, Miss Linux 2010, just put it up there. Oh, his, your husband's got hockey cards? I know my nephew, this is going back, like he's what, 50 now? Roughly, or 48, something like that. But he actually paid for his college by selling his hockey cards. Nope, we got frost last night. And we're getting it tonight and tomorrow night. <laughs> so, it's like, ah! Oh! And it did it get my some of my trees because they were just starting to leaf and they're very, very tender at that point. So yeah, I'm hoping they come back, but we'll see. Yeah, and I covered all my uh, other tender perennials that I could cover. Luckily I had a big roll of um, uh, that black um, fabric cloth for the gardens. And I made a bunch of tents, <laughs> all my hostas and that type of thing, because that just kills them right away. Hey, good to see you, Z. Xandra's another one with it. There's so many people here that do streaming and uh, 
videos. So check them out. Um, Scrap to Beauty by Xander is another one. So check hers out. Thanks, Devin. Wasn't that amazing? She, she always blows me away. Lena's work is superb in every way. It's just amazing. So I have my takeout container lids. <laughs> That's what I use. And I'm not sure, but I think think let me just put this over here i'm thinking i possibly might want to use some colored pencils in this uh, if not i can use um anything really on top of acrylic i was going to use an eo2s but then i thought eh, they're water reactive so it's not a good thing to start with but i can use it after if i want <laughs> right, Devin? You can't keep up with the girl. She's a, a machine. I can't believe it. Although it's not, you know, we're not supposed to be in a hurry. It's supposed to be about um, relaxation. That's what I keep telling myself. <laughs> you got more Jane stuff? Awesome. So what I'm thinking is... Uh, I'm going to take the colors from the background of this. So I've already taken out some craft paint here. I got different brands and try to match some of it. Now this is a little bit green green, but we can mix with it. And I do have aqua, I have a little bit of high light flesh and corn silk. What's this one? Lemonade and some white i have white acrylic gouache same thing as craft paint basically is the background scrap yeah scrapbook paper i put it through the printer the inkjet printer and then i just put a low odor clear finish on it and this one you can spray indoors and now we can paint on it because it won't uh, seep down into the uh paper and make it hard to paint so I think I'm gonna I want to concentrate on probably uh, shadows first so this is going to be a shadow color and We'll see if, if it's too light, I might darken it with a bit of, uh, you could go red or you can put a bit of uh, gray or black in it too, just to darken it a little, tint it. Um, and I could use the green. So let's use this green. Is this one? I don't want a shiny. Okay. Or actually, no, let's use this. And we'll just mix a little bit of uh, corn silk into it. So we have corn silk. Yes, it's matte. All Most craft paints are matte. That's why I like them so much because you can use uh, pencil uh, crayons on, on top of that or pretty well anything. Pencil, pen. Oh, the spray? Um, well, yeah, I would say it's matte because it's not very shiny. I don't see. It's a bit of a luster, but uh, let's see what it says. clear latex finish uh, it 
doesn't really say, which is odd. Huh. Oh, this one says Matt on the tag here. It's weird that they don't have it on the on the label. So, um, I better put these away because I don't want, oh, I just spilled that. Good start. <laughs> I hope that's not an indication. And I just put a new paper on my desk. What's that mean? <laughs> it's live. Real life. See all the mistakes. <laughs> Everything goes on here. I don't. I don't uh, hide anything. That's for sure. Okay. Um, yeah, I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to hide my watercolor brushes so I don't accidentally use them because that wouldn't be good. So let's bring out my thing of brushes and maybe, maybe I'm just taking out a bunch of different uh, brushes here that I might use. Uh, maybe a small. pointy one. So I don't I have all kinds of brushes and I tend to gravitate to certain, let's bring this one out just because I tend to gravitate to certain sizes and shape. What about you guys? Do you do that? Okay, I'll just take these out. So here's the traceable. I'm just going to put that in front of me in case I lose my uh, spot. But like I said, I'm going to try and leave some of the background as part of her face and maybe even her hair. We'll see. So I have the uh, water beside me. And what do I want to start with? Maybe let's do some shadows. I'm going to start off with this one. It's a uh, Princeton Velvet Touch quarter inch angle shader. Uh, See, I might show. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm going to take the uh, shadows and the highlights off of this paper. So this is lighter up in this corner here. So I'm going to say that the uh, light is coming from this way. So this side of her face is already shaded. Perfect, right? And same with her shoulder would be shaded and this is highlighted here. So awesome. I didn't even do that on purpose. <laughs> so it was meant to be. So let's, and I have a piece of scrap paper here so we can test uh, color. So I'm going to try this um, aqua. 
Okay, it's a little bit. I need to put a maybe even a little green in the well. Let's try a little bit of green with that aqua. Let's see what kind of color we'll get. It's not quite what I wanted. Sometimes you have to play with your colors. Now, no, I think I need a little bit of black or red. Let's see. Here's some charcoal just for um, tinting. It's not quite as clean aqua color. It's, it's kind of grayed down a little bit. So I'm just going to put some gray on the side here. Let's see what we can do. Oops. See, already. Good thing I put those brushes away. So let's try just a tad. gray in there. Yeah, that's better. There we go. Yeah, I know. You would have thought, eh? Nope, wasn't. Cross my heart. I did not even think of that. So I'm going to make a, a little bit more here. I'm so bad using my brush as a palette knife. Should use a palette knife when mixing, but I don't. <laughs> and then I want a fairly light application, so watered down. Okay. And yeah. So I want to be able to you yeah, want to be able to see through it slightly. So right in the eye here, corner of the eye, we would have and by the nose. Because I put that fixative on, then I can just take my wet brush without paint on it and just brush it out. Do you want me to bring you guys in so you can see this a little better? And Hopefully, is that um, good enough as far as uh, it's good? Okay, so the coloring is good. It's not too dark because I can always brighten it up if you want. Thanks, guys. So just beside her nose would be darker and underneath her nose. And I'm going to put a little bit under, just underneath there. And she's smiling. So there's the crease beside her mouth there. So you know that there's going to be a shadow right there. And it's the other side of her face, so it's darker. Um, and then it would be a little bit darker just underneath her nose. Just a little bit there. And then we'll just put a little ball as the top of her nose there. 
And then I think I'm going to bring that down just a bit, just to darken that a little bit more. So this is great. Just do little bits, almost like watercolor. Just do little bits at a time. And you can always add more pigment if you want a little darker, like up here maybe. Be a little bit darker by the crease. And then maybe right in there. I'm going to make it a little darker in there. And maybe just a smidgen around the bottom of her nose, just a bit. Um, her ear would be much darker, so let's put this on the inside of her ear here. I'm just using the very tip of my angle brush here. It'd be much darker, especially along the side. And then while it's still wet, I can either take away some areas. or blend it out into the other areas. Kathy, I love how you did her hair. Have you ever done a hair tutorial? Uh, not a specific just hair tutorial. I have shown how to do hair. Uh, as I'm doing the project, but not just hair. Why would you like me to do one? It's all about chunks. <laughs> A little bit. You still have quite a bit of time when you, you're trying to move uh, acrylic before it gets too, too dry, it's usually quite easy to move. And if you're having a trouble moving it, okay, I'll put it on my to-do list. If you're having trouble moving it, you can take some uh, glazing liquid and it usually will help move it. I'm just gonna put a little bit of color under her lip there. And I'm going to put a little bit right in here. So this little bit of a crease would have a little bit of a shadow. I'm not going to do a lot of um, too much shadowing because the background is kind of doing it for me, if you know what I mean. Um, the side of her face would be a little more by the temple there, it kind of goes in. And then her, her cheek, remember she's smiling, so she would have a little bit of um, her cheek coming outwards. Like that. And then her shadow be pretty intense under here. So I'm going to take this 
and bring it out like this. I can still see her um, background. Now this is a bit of her hair, so I'm just going to bring that shadow around the side of the hair. And while it's still wet, I'm just going to bring that, just bring it out into the body here. Now we'll get a little darker along the side here over her arm and um, her body. I missed a spot there. So more darker on the inside of her arm there. And probably a little bit darker right in there because of the way she's positioned. Okay. Hope you feel better. Hope it's doing good for you. I'm wearing a knee brace today. My knees have been really acting up. There we go. And then, of course, under her hair. Be much darker. And not necessarily blended because it's a structure, so um, it doesn't kind of fade. There's, it's a flat, basically structure, sh giving her, giving you a shadow. So when you have a flat object shadowing something, it usually has a hard line. Tori? Is that dark for you guys? Looks dark to me. I'm watching on StreamYard. Let me see. Uh, uh, let me see what it looks like on YouTube. Yeah, it is a little. I'm going to brighten it up a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little better. Okay. We are all Smurf in here. <laughs> okay. So her other eye would have a little bit of uh, shadows, but not as not as heavy a shadow. So there's still shadow on the lid part because of the brow um, gives you a shadow. And just under here where the wrinkles are. And I'm going to just take the a little bit of water on my brush. Not too much. And then just a smidgen of color. Just right in the corner of her eye there. That gives it a little bit of more dimension. Like that. And it's very simple. This one's very simple. Um, 
the drawing is basically uh, doing it all for you. I'm going to make it a little darker under here. And the top lip is usually shadowed. And I'm going to make this just a bit darker in here by her... Uh, cheek and I I can go back in and put in some other um, colors so I have my greens here if I want to lighten something so don't think that because you put in uh, dark areas it has to stay that way you can always lighten so we got to do her other ear of course it would be kind of shaded. I'm just going to take out a little bit on the top, though, where it might be highlighted just a smidge. And her inside of the ear right there would be darker. So. And just bring it out a little bit. Maybe you might have a little bit of shadow from that top part of the ear. And then just bring it, just soften it a little bit. And so if you have any questions, feel free to it in caps like I said I'm here to help you guys in this you know what I have top chat and I didn't put live chat sorry if I missed anything and her arm here would have a shadow a little more of a shadow around her hair again and maybe just a bit just on the top part because her hair would be kind of shadowing that area a little bit so we can add that so a little more pigment on your your brush darker under here I think just because it's close to her body and she's kind of tilted laying kind of playing with this darn it's hard to find a right temperature there and this one we're going to put a little bit of shadow in here because her hair would be giving some kind of a shadow. And then as it turns, her arm gets a little bit of, more of a shadow. Just trying to figure out what's what here. 
that would be shadowed. Mm, this one would be shadowed right under the hair and along the side of her. So kind of blend into that paper. If you're just doing your own background, you'll have to uh, blend it into whatever background you've put in. All right, not bad. It does make a big difference when you um, put a fixative on. your paper before you start painting because then you can move the paint much easier Cool. All right, so I'm gonna dry that, I think. I think I've got, you know, I could put a little bit, just a little bit right here along the side of her face. And right in there, I think that's hair there. Okay, let's try that. I love how she looks like she's jumping right at us. Yeah, <laughs> I like finding ways of putting expression or like the face is telling a story. Different expressions, I love expressions. Yeah, she's a hobbit mermaid. <laughs> Why not? You can make her whatever you want. You could even change her ears and make them into fins if you want it to. Okay. Now, let's do some... Hmm, let's think. Let's put in little bit of this, uh, what is it, corn silk. Now, because this is a white based paint, it's going to be a little bit more opaque. So let's see. Remember, the light is coming this way. So you'll see more highlights like above her eye. See, I don't want too much paint or water on my brush. Now you could, I could just use a uh, colored pencil for this part if I wanted to. Um, let's see, I think I want a little bit right in here just above her eyebrow. You can always go back and 
put dark on top too if you find it's too light um, so there'd be a highlight above her brow bone because your brow usually sticks out it doesn't have to be a lot either uh, Then maybe it dips down. Usually right here sticks out a little bit on your forehead. And then I uh, usually have a little uh, bump right here also or in the top part of your forehead, depending on your hairline. So let's uh, put that in a little bit. A little bit lighter. It's very, very slight. You can always add more or um, take away. I think I'm gonna add well, we want the top of her nose for sure. We could do this with uh, pastels too. So just on the top of her nose, you'll have a little highlight and on the wing of her nose. And I'm going to put just a little sprig there. And then maybe right there. Just a little button nose. I want to narrow that down a little bit. So I'm just going to take some off. And a little bit on her side of her mouth here. Because she's smiling, the skin is tight and your teeth push out, make it rounded. And then also right here, this would be fairly light just on the other side of that crease and then bring it out just into the cheek here and that gives you the shape of her cheek and we'll just soften it a little bit Doesn't take much. A little bit more on there. You can always just do a little at a time. You can always darken it, like I said. And her lip would be the brightest in the center. Like that. And more on this side than the other side because of the, of the way the light is going. I'm gonna just put a little bit more in here, I think. And 
and then the eyelid also would have some so this one in particular because it's uh, closest to the light source but don't bring it all the way down here you can just put a little dab right there And this one too, uh, more or less, just on the top part here. We'll add other stuff to it. This still needs to be a little bit more. Okay, and we'll probably get our colored pencils out too. And this side of the cheek. So let's put a little bit more on there, I think. Be the brightest. And just along the edge of our brow and then her cheekbone. Use a wet brush, soften those edges a little bit. And maybe she has a little bit of line right there. And I think I'm going to put a little bit there. And just a smidgen more over here on her cheek, I think. Just soften it. And right around that crease on this side, it would be a little bit more noticeable. So you'd have that right there. And then also on the side of her nose here, because it's raised, have an area that would be a little lighter. It's right in here. So I'm just going to soften that with a wet brush. and her chin. So this side would be a little bit brighter than this side. I'm going to put a little bit on just on the edge of her chin too or a jawline, I should say. Just a bit. And just a little bit of a highlight on her arm. So we'd have 
kind of in the center. Same with here. Be more highlight there. Not all the way up there because of uh, just the way she's positioned. Got to think of uh, how that would be positioned on a uh, tubular shape. And maybe just a smidgen down here. It's a little bit on the bright side there. All right, so that's that for now. Uh, let's put a little. Well, actually, I'm gonna. I am gonna go in with some um, colored pencils, probably. But let's do something with this hair. So. What color hair should she have? Should should it match everything? Like maybe a green with a yellow or should it be a totally different color? What do you think? Thanks, Devin. Any suggestions? Purple, yellow, maybe. Oh boy. <laughs> Anyone else? Do you love purple? Yeah, I like purple too. It would look pretty. It's got yellow in there too. Could do kind of a V is the yeah she is. Um, we could do a dusty colored purple maybe. Just looking at my paints here, seeing what purples I have. French gray blue. Um, bungalow blue. I'm picking blues. Let's see. What's this one? I think that's... Deep periwinkle. Lavender. So a cold or a warm. Let's see. Let's test. <laughs> Mermaidologist. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put a dab. See which one looks best on this paper. Doesn't look like there's much of a difference, but there is. We could always mix white with these too. They're too light. And I'll add this one too. This one's called French gray blue, but it looks purple to me. We'll put it on anyways, see what it looks like. Yeah, it looks purpley. It's kind of like a looks like a it's 
kind of pretty, actually. Let's see what this one is. It's brighter, more cleaner looking. Hmm. And then this one. It's just a, a tad grayer, not as, as uh, purple. I'm trying to see what it looks like as far as um, blending. Okay, let's try these and see what they look like. Oh, actually, let's put a little bit of this color in it. Just to see what, if we add yellow, how much we can change it. Why not? what it does. Hmm. This is the corn silk added to it. Okay, let's dry it and see what they look like. This is what I typically do when I'm experimenting as I'm going. I test things before committing. <laughs> it's just me. It's what I like to do. But if you have, you know, scrap paper in the same uh, background, it's a good idea. Okay, I'm going to take some scissors. And just cut some of these. And we'll see. Which is the best. All right. Here's this one. So, what do you think? Purpley. Or there's this one. It's a little more cooler. Yeah, isn't it? this off so you don't get mixed up and then this is more of a pinky purple and then there's the real dark one This is lavender. 
This one is where was it? French gray blue. This one was bungalow blue. And this one was deep periwinkle. The one by her right eye. This one? On top is nice too. So these don't go. No, the other one. Oh, so this one. <laughs> like that. Kind of like this one, I think. Yeah, the pink is nice too, the lavender one. Hmm. I'm just looking at the monitor to see. I think you get more. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the top one. You get more um, variation of color. Yeah. So that one is Delta Ceramico Lavender. Semi-opaque. Do two-tone. Yeah, I could. We'll see. Let's see. Put some of this out. And I have my other color there. All right. Yeah, maybe I will actually. So that one was the... that one I think let's see what happens because I could use one for the darker color let's see yeah that looks actually kind of nice with it Ooh, kind of like that that's really nice Thanks, Tori. So let's put some of this in. I'm going to go with darker first. So I know that the darker colors would be along the side of her face. And I can take some colored pencils with this too. So experiment. So I'm I'm just going to put a little bit. I'm looking at uh, what's overlaying each other. So right in here is darker because it's by her ear and face, kind of tucked behind her ear. So I'm going to put some in there and in here. I might even have to go darker yet, which I could do with colored pencil. This side is going to be um, a little bit darker. And I'm going to try and stay close to the uh, line work as I can because it's kind of a directional thing um, when you're doing this type of hair. So the direction, like fur, right? the direction is what um, 
makes it believable. Now I could use a, uh, oh, what do you call it, a uh, grainer brush too. Let's add, I'm going to add this while I go. Let's see what we get just to play with it. That's kind of cool. I like that. And then we can also add highlights on here. And I'm just using the very side of my, or not side, the, the edge of my brush. I just want to get around that ear. Just when you're doing uh, hair in this way, painting hair, it's a little easier to paint a whole section than um, just do one color and then another color. So you're kind of painting wet into wet. Now I can actually, I'm going to take a little of this gray and mix it with this. See, just to make it a little bit darker. And can add a little bit of that gray just in the darkest areas here. Because this would be the dark side. And I will uh, use probably some more color pencil in here for sure. That, it's kind of hard for you guys to see because of the shine. Maybe I should turn off the overhead lights. Just going to add a little bit of this dark in areas. Be a little bit more dark there. Then you can bring in over top. Just play with it. But just try and keep your directions. Um, kind of uniform to what is on the page. And we can go in and do highlights, put in more low lights too. So I'm just switching back and forth. And maybe even the um, highlights could be the color of the background too, which would be cool, but a little more confusing for you guys. Because then you kind of have to uh, map out stuff. I don't want to confuse you. So we'll do it this way. It's a little easier for you. There's many, many ways of doing hair. Let's put a little bit of light color maybe in here. Let's see what that happens. Just change it up with your gray or buttermark, buttermilk color. So just keep in mind where your highlights would be. So this side would be your highlight area because of the, the way the uh, shine is going in the water. 
to be a little bit more highlight in there. The nice thing about acrylics too is that you can always go back over it if you don't like it. Let's make it a little darker again. I'm not even uh, rinsing my brush. I'm just using what's on here. And remember, there'd be uh, little areas, pockets where there would be uh, more shadow. have fun with it. This is when you can experiment. A little bit more down here. So there'd be a little bit wherever the um, Sorry, I hit my microphone. Where there's a little bit more shadow would be where either the, the curl is flowing down and around, so underneath. Just keep playing with it until I'm going to take some maybe and bring it around. Maybe a little lighter in here. mix colors together. See how you're, it's um, giving you different shades when you don't clean your brush. Um, so that'd be a little bit shinier here. I can always go back over it and put some more color in there. Just play. This one here would be probably a little bit more white or light. There's some bigger ones here. Just mixing. a little bit of white. A little bit of black again with, or gray with that. Maybe there's some gray in here. Depends how um, detailed you want to get to. You don't have to uh, 
get too crazy with it, you could uh, just do something very simple. Depending on how you want to how much time you want to put into it. This does take a little bit of time, definitely, but I like it. Let's put some more black with that. A little gray. Right in here. And kind of mix on your canvas. Oh, thanks, Tori, for uh, popping in and modding for me. Appreciate it. Take some. Maybe there's some that are kind of crazy hairs. Just kind of go all over the place. Which probably happen because it's a mermaid she doesn't want brush her hair so i'm just playing i like it when the uh, paint when you don't mix your paints too much, it makes a really cool streak. And it kind of does the work for you when you do that. So you just dip your brush in different colors. And have fun. Now this could be a fin or hair. It's whatever you want. Let's make some black with that right in there. Kind of off the sorry guys didn't realize I was off my uh, getting carried away wasn't watching what I was doing on the bottom here. Let's make some purple and black. Lighten it. Some Just play. Okay, this would be darker on the side of her face here. Let's 
just mixing black with it. A little bit of color. that. Just keep playing. Mixing those colors up. A little bit of white. You can go in and, and decide to let maybe there's some that don't make sense afterwards. This is so easy to fix. Just keep your uh, colors out. And then once you're pretty well done, then take step back, go have a coffee and then have another look at it and see what you think. Thanks, Ray. Just play, 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 play. Let's see. black just to mix it up a little bit a lot of times the black will be kind of in between or in the darkest parts You can always go back. I'm just going to bring that out here, I think, just to finish that off there. And then I'm going to take some white. Maybe there will be a scoop. way it's laying a little bit lighter I'm gonna let that dry I think can make them all different colors too like just keep in mind the shadows where it would be darkest though just if you want a more of a a realistic look. That's the only thing you have to keep an eye out for. Just going to paste that one in there. And put a little bit more color in there. Some black. Might be a little bit, and you could always too um, go in with colored pencils. So 
that would be much lighter there because it's kind of facing the highlight area. And then it gets darker as it goes on this side. So just to add more color, less of the uh, corn silk that I am using. And then you can add a little bit of black. I shouldn't say black, I'm using gray. that because we can always go back and readjust things if you don't like a certain area let's put some white with this right up in here a little more but don't Try not to mix on your palette. Mix it on your painting. Just don't use too many brush marks. You want that streakiness when you're doing this type of hair. And this will work on pretty well any hair. If you find you, you put too much um, brush mark, brush strokes in, it's easy to fix. Let's see, take this over here. And let's see, I think this kind of looks messy to me right here. So I want to think I want a little bit. Oop, I picked up some aqua in there. Oh, well. Could put some aqua in there if you wanted to. And let's put a little bit more black in here. I'm going to go right over that area. And I can just paint in some more. So I think this needs to be darker. That. Try and keep the chunks. <laughs> Let's see. A little bit of dark in here somewhere. So it would be...
a little darker in there, I think. And then a little bit of this just on the ends. darker in here. Oh, I caught some more. Oh well, let's put some of that over here then. Okay, this needs a little... Let's see. Um, how am I wanting to tackle this? I think I might have to leave and come back. I hear my dog. She's been pretty good. She's moaning. She probably has to go out. Okay. What time is it? Yeah, I might have to. She's an old girl, so she can't hold it as long as she used to. <laughs> uh, it's Chloe. Coco's pretty good. I'll be right back, guys.
too. Okay. They're quick, thank goodness. <laughs> when they have to go, they go. They don't putter around at all, which is good. Okay, so that gave me a, a little bit of a chance to take a look at what I got here. That looks pretty good. I'm going to bring you out just a smidge. Oh, oh Cass. There, just so that you get a little bit of a better view. And let's see. We could put in let's do her eyeballs. <laughs> so what color maybe we'll keep her eyes the color of the background. And let's do the blue. Some white in it. Or maybe we want just the corn silk color. I don't know. Go for the whites of her eye. isn't the greatest brush. Hmm, I don't like that. So, luckily, I can just wipe it off. I think I'm going to use um, colored pencil for the eyes. I like detail, so let's see what we got here. We want probably a nice dark blues and uh, greens or aquas. Let's see what we got. Uh, Where's that? It's almost black. It might work. It's, well, there's a nice color. Yeah. That that one's a good one. And this is peacock blue. What is this one? Yeah, it's a Prisma. Um, peacock blue. What's this one? Blue violet lake is a good one. I want to stay in the same kind of hues. And then this one. Let's see. The pe I'm thinking the peacock blue would be good for. The, uh, there's a good one. Oh, should have brought my other 
pencil. Sharpeners down. Because this one is eating my pencil. Must be something stuck in it. So if I, this is sky blue light. So I'm just going to. color the whites of her eye in this shade just where it would be the brightest actually it should have been the other way around hmm I might have to get out some. Yeah, let's still, let's dry this, it's still wet. All right, let's try. I want a nice uh, dark hmm. Must be something in my pencil sharpener. It's destroying my pencils. This is the Enda Throne Blue Prisma. I want that. Dark color on the, her eyelid. And can, let's see, this other one was peacock blue. Just where that crease is, put a little bit of this peacock blue in. And I think it's this one, Blue Violet Lake. I think I'm going to put that in there, just in the shadows. Of her white of the white of the eye and even over top of the green from the background so it would be shadowed anyways And maybe a little bit more in there, in the corner of the 
with the eye there. Peacock blue. And some white. Just more or less on the bottom part of the, this area here. Be the brightest. Um, keep that out. A light peacock blue, maybe. What's this one? That's nice. I just want to just bring that blue peacock blue that I put in just out with a little bit of a lighter color. That. And black for the pupil. Or I could go, let's go that dark blue in part of it. So where that highlight is, just put this blue in, this dark blue. Could be any navy blue. And then the black on the bottom part of it. Sometimes that looks better when it's kind of uh, two-toned. So there, it's a little bit of... Uh, your eye has kind of a highlight of whatever it's seeing. Is reflecting off the eyeball. Okay. Let's make the eyeball a little bit bigger here. It's a little better. And then this white in the highlight that might have to use some Posca Hmm, a little bit more blue in there, a little darker there. And just a smidge. Right in there. Like that, and that blue, this is peacock blue, um, just in the mouth area where that the uh, opening is, just put a little bit of that there. That. Your mouth will be, um, it's got shape to it. So you have darker and it gradually gets lighter. So I'm going to put a little bit of black right in the center here. And then along the side here, there's usually a darkness because you're um, grinning. Uh, let's see. 
I'm going to make this a little darker here. Just to give her a little bit of thickness in the eye, eye uh, lid. So it looks like she could have eyelashes, but I don't know if they do. <laughs> that here and under the nose where the nostril is put a little mark like that water down uh, will you paint the background navy um no I think I'll just leave it as it is if anything I might Add a little bit of darkness on the bottom part, but I like the color. I might just leave it because she's got to blend in to the sky. You think she needs lashes? I could put lashes in. a little bit of that peacock under her chin here. And alongside in her ear. Be a little bit darker. A little darker in here. Right in here where the hair kind of and where her her arm is. Can put a little bit of that. Maybe we'll put some uh, stickles or something on her scales. That would look cute. dark under here because of the hot of the hair right in here like that Scales would be nice, yeah. In her hair, hair, yeah. Could put a little in her hair, too. A bit on just the top of her um, arm here. Be a little bit shadowed. Just a little bit more there. You could use paint, too, if you wanted to. Sorry. Keep forgetting. Um, right in here. Uh, so I basically match the uh, 
colored pencils with the, the colors I was using in paint or the background color, whatever your, your uh, painting is. Could be different. darker there. Let's put a little bit more of that line in there. That. And I think Maybe I don't know if that's that's not bad. A little bit of that purple along the edge of her iris. You know how some people have have their um, like a ring. just helps the eye to stand out maybe could probably put some marks in the iris too make them uneven because usually they're not all the all the same and then you can take your white or a light mauve color. It'd have to be the same hue. What's this one? Nope, it's not dark enough or light enough. Or blue, I guess you could take a blue too. Well, let's use the white, see how it works. I'm going to put a little bit of highlight on the top of her ear just to have them stand out a little bit. And then you can um, highlight some of the hair. So remembering where your highlights were. And you can just make some highlight marks. Try to go uh, with the same direction. It just helps it uh, bring it out more when you do this. You don't have to. If you like the way yours is, you can keep it just as it is. A lot of highlights are... Uh, I can flip some. Uh, and a lot of times your highlights help things um, make a little more sense if you're finding uh, maybe your hairs are too all over the place sometimes this helps so I'm still keeping in mind where the light source is.
You don't have to put a, uh, a lot in, just a few marks will usually help. So th doing this, curving it, makes it look a little bit like it's um, got a swoop. Bring some of them up. Some of them you don't need to do anything to. It's, uh, the more you do, the more you'll understand it, too. Um, like anything else. The more you do, the better you get. It's the more you understand it, then. So in the lighter areas, might have a little bit of shine there. Not a lot though, but a little bit. Still thinking of my light source. And going with the direction of the hair. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of highlight in her ear here. And I can even put a little more highlight on her cheekbone if I want to. I love uh, coloring pencils for this. Just, just adds things to it. So much easier. More on her chin, maybe. And here. That. And then maybe just a smidgen on her lip here. Just get rid of that. Black line there. Like that. Soften that up a little bit. Uh, you can put like stragglers, you know, that's always fun to do. Just don't put too many in and uh, they are, you do get them. So you can put a few of those in. She's definitely going to have them. They kind of cool. They kind of look cool, too. I like them. And it gives her attitude when you do that, too. <laughs> At least I think it does. On to her face. Like, let's see.
then we got to put her um, sparkles on. Let's shake this a little bit more. Sparkles. Where would I have my sparkly? Okay. I'm going to put a little highlight in her eye. Maybe on her, let's put a little bit more on her nose. Let's see. There. That. Okay, let's see what we can put in. I don't think I have any markers in sparkles. But I do have H2O's silks. I have aqua, green, I would kind of like a white too, and I even have purple, Let's see, that one's, do you think that would work? Please. I haven't used these in ages. Oh boy, is that one even open? There we go. That one. And green. What do you think? Should we use these? Get a different brush. Small brush. Ooh, nice. Oh, we could put some of this in her hair. Let's see. Uh, actually, I'm going to take, see if I can find a, yep, I do have one, Filbert. That should work. Yep. Filbert in a nice color. So just, uh, I don't know, I think they might be too transparent. Oh, 
We'll see. I'm going to dry that and see what they look like, see if they disappear or not. I have uh, freckles on her face I need to do too. Oh no, it works. Awesome. <laughs> cool. All right, let's do some green, blue. This one needs to be I need a little bit of activation. Been sitting for years. Let's see. I love it when you find stuff you had forgot about. It looks so cool. And then this beautiful magenta color. Wow. It's got a blue purple tinge. Let's see what it looks like. It needs to thicker consistency. Yep, that looks cool too. She's a multicolored. Mermaid. Nice touch on the scale. Thanks, right? It's fun. Put a little more blue in here and there. I got them all. Yeah, you don't need much. Um, let's see. Okay, let's just, for the heck of it, Put a little of this in. So that it kind of glistens here and there. It's 
kind of got a blue tinge to it. It's really pretty. What are those H2, those H2 you are using? Which ones? Uh, just hold on. This one is, is that one right? These are, I don't even know if you can get them anymore. This one is Wisteria. You can see that. This one's Kiwi. And this one's Stargazer. So those are the three I used. Awesome. Love them. I don't know if you can get them anymore. These are like hmm, 12 years old, maybe. They, got ton they had tons of colors, but, you know, who knows if they have them anymore. So let's try that. And the only other thing I want to do is put uh, a few freckles. Ooh, I really like those on here. That really looks cool. You have to use those more often. I really like them. There. Berkeley. <laughs> that looks cool. Uh, I'm going to just take my um, let's see, maybe this one. I'm just going to add a little bit of a shadow under some of these. Wouldn't have to, but that's me. I like to throw in the detail as much as I can because that's what I like. Probably don't need as much, but because the sparkle pretty well d does the job. But eh, it looks pretty good. Look at the hair though. Uh, can you see the sparkle in the hair? Looks cool. 
All right, so just a few few little um, freckles, and I think I'm going to do those in an, more of an aqua color. So just a few little. You don't have to put freckles on yours. You can. But I like freckles. Like that. And maybe a little bit of aqua in the in the eyebrow I'm just leaving the color there and then Let's see, maybe maybe a little dark in here. So what I'm going to try, let me see if it works. I'm going to get some of this gray. Where's that? No, that's too dark. Let's try some of the blue, maybe this blue. I don't know if I want, no, I want a different color. Maybe let's try a blue. <laughs> Or, or even a darker green would work, probably. Um, let's see. What do I have? A river green or... I'll try river green. See what see what it does. I don't know. Don't know. Cuz I don't want to I don't want to lose the uh color of the hair. Let's see what this does. If I mix a bit. That might work. Let's see if it's very watered down, it might work. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. So let's see. Just a little bit. I'm going to mix a little teal or um, aqua with that. What do you think? Dark enough? Or should it be darker?
Almost looks too... Hmm. Don't know. Could go in with marker too. The need to be blue. Water down navy blue. Let's see. Navy blue. Things we do. <laughs> okay. I'll test her out. Here's my test paper. Yeah, it might, yeah, it might work. All right. I better, hmm, let's see. Holding my breath. What do you think? Z I Oh <laughs> Think it looks good?
think that needs to be darker. I don't think I'm going to do the top part. I might just leave the top part. So it just gets a little bit um, lighter, I guess, as you go up. What do you think? I think she needs to live with me too cold in Canada. <laughs> yeah. Do you think it should be darker on the bottom more or not? Or is that dark enough? She needs a coat. I like it see-through. A little bit in here. I'm 
that. Okay. So let's dry that and see what we, now she pops out. I think she looks good. What do you think? dark in there I think I'm gonna put just a few dark marks in there by her uh, temple I could go on and on and on But you could go back with the darks now if you wanted to. Depends how much you want to do. I will leave it as is. So fun watching her come to life and so dimensional. Thanks. I'll make some uh, prints and I'll send you one, Sandra. Uh, white pen. And there she is. She's done. That's it. <laughs> I'm gonna stop myself from going crazy with detail. I like it. Thanks, Devin. Yep, that's the end of our mermaids for, well, I'll always be doing mermaids, but for mermaid. <laughs> so I hope you uh, enjoyed it. I hope you'll try it yourself the downloadable is in the members stream so i think there's three of them there 
So try them out and see what you can do. And uh, we'll see you on Tuesday. Thanks, Rescue Auntie. Awesome. All right, we'll let you guys go. Have a fantastic weekend, and we'll see you on Tuesday. Bye for now.